Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So we're back with the Twagao missile system, and basically today we'll be answering some of the questions that you guys asked yesterday, and we're going to be covering quite a lot, so it's going to be an extra long episode. The first thing that you guys asked was, can you load bigger stones, can you load a variety of stones? So what we're going to try out first is we're going to try a really big sort of solid slug, then we're going to work on some sort of pellet designs where we'll have five or six, maybe seven or eight smaller pellets. And then we will move on to destroying a ship. See what actual effect these have on ships because ships have gravity fields, even if it's just a gravity field to walk on. So it's going to be rather interesting to actually see what happens when we hit a ship rather than a slab of armor. So I'm going to test them against the slab armor and then I'm actually going to move to target testing them all against an actual ship vessel type, both with light and heavy armor. So there's quite a lot to get through, so let's get started. Right, for today's targets, I've done something a little bit different. I've built less conventional targets. I've built more of a ship sort of target. So this ship is basically consisting of two rooms. We've got a cargo bay and we've got some open areas so we can actually see what the stone does inside a ship. On this left target that the left warhead should hit, We've got three layers of armor. Three layers is probably what most average cargo ships will most likely have, because you don't want to be too heavy, but you want that layer of protection. Up here, we have a little bit of crew quarters as well, using these blocks, so we can see sort of what sort of damage it does to that. So that there's no power on board, so we're not going to get them doors to open. And the final question that a lot of you guys asked was, what would happen if there's a third gravity field on the ship? So the gravity field's there in the center, so both will be affected by gravity. So wish me luck. So I've gone back to the conventional targets. I just want to show you that these are 10 in thickness and I want to just basically explain how things work. So let's actually build our warhead. So we've got a warhead. These are gravity generators and we have our rock in the middle represented by the red one. So what we're going to do here is have a secondary warhead. So the warhead explodes, basically detonating itself, causing this result to happen. So this detonates, this destroys this gravity generator, like I said before, and this comes forward. But what happens if we actually introduce another gravity generator situation? So this blue one is going to represent the ship's actual gravity generator. So when this snaps off, the warhead comes along out like this. It reaches the ship, it hits it, and then this is what really interesting. Their own gravity generator from their own ship actually pulls the their stone through the bottom as well as it going through the side. If they are lucky, they it'll actually penetrate straight through. If they're not, it'll get stuck inside and then it actually gets dragged down, causing even more damage to their ship. But anyhow, let's test them buckshot and different rounds out. Right, so for this test, in the left tube, I have got like a four pellet sort of buckshot and in the right one, I've got standard 20 kg stone. So each of the little pellets on the right weighs, um, weighs about 500 kg and um, obviously 20,000 kg in the other one I keep saying little missing a few decimal points off but it doesn't t tend to make too much difference so we're lining up we'll be at 60 very shortly and then we'll fire them away so 4950 nearly there then we can launch these so hopefully everything goes well and Aaron is going to miss and there we go. I feel like I'm going to miss the target. I hope we do not. I can really. I just want to see what these damages does. So buckshot here, normal round left. So let's see what we got to do. Right. So this one on the left went a little bit off center of the target, but it might give us a better impact. So the buckshot went straight through like I'd expect, and um, we've got one laying around in there, and this one went straight through as well. So there is not really too much difference between the bookshot. The only way the bookshot would be better is if you could make it spread out before the impact. So that would be that would be something to do. The bookshot though is good in its own right because if you get that stuck inside the ship, then it's going to pull it down. Anyhow, let's upgrade these to heavy armor and then see what we can do. Right, so we're going to go up against the big armor here. We've got 10 layers and I'm going to try a different sort of warhead. So we're going to go with a four pellet bookshot on the right. And on the left, we're going to go with like a bird shot of like hundreds of little rounds and see what the effect is rather than the other one. I'm also going to show you right now what happens if you actually shoot the end cap off before you actually fire it. So, like I said, 
what would happen if you actually shoot this cap? Well, since this is the actual cap that's projecting it inside, the rock should just shoot out. So let's test it. So there we go. That's it. Really that simple. That paired with the momentum is what's doing the damage. That little bit of a force to force it out of that barrel is what's giving us the momentum to actually damage that target so well. So we've got the bird shot in here and what's actually happened is the gravity generator has actually forced it all together. So it's about seven or eight pellets in a small sort of order, about 200 kilograms each. And here we have the larger ones of 5,000 kg. So that's a four shot versus a seven or eight shot in the other side. So we don't actually see the damage if smaller ones do affect it and in that pattern. Obviously they're going to hold quite tight together, but it's, that's the result we are actually looking for. We're going to see what actually happens. Will it blow apart? Which one will take the gold? Or maybe it'll just be the solid slug from before that will come out on top. Because I think that 20 kg st oh, uh, 20,000 kg stone was the perfect weight if you ask me. So we'll just line this up with the center of the target. So this is heavy armor, remember, so it does get a little bit glitchy when you launch it against heavy armor because the blocks don't register and stuff. But we'll see if we can get through 10 layers, 10 layers of heavy armor. So we're getting up to speed now. Just gonna aim right in the middle so that I can get it lined up and we'll get P and we'll get P away. And now we release and warheads are going. Warheads are going beautifully by the look of it. We're traveling, yeah, they're keeping the speed, they're keeping the speed perfectly. And it looks like we might have another clip. Oh no, that's pretty damn good actually. Um, right, let's start assessing this damage. So which one shall we do first? So the bird shot, with all the little pellets, it looks like, let's see how many layers it's gone through. So one, two, three, and yeah, so that's three. And we're not penetrating any more layers, but we've got all them little pellets bugging around in there. And I think they'd be quite a problem for any pilot or anyone in there. Yeah, there's no further penetration. I was just checking. Right, moving over here. So we've got the four larger shots. So only one of them didn't actually stick in the target. So let's take back the first layer. So after taking back the first layer, it looks like one's ingrained in the second layer. And it looks like they've gone a little bit further as well. So this one could be quite dangerous, this sort of shell. Yeah, so you've got two, that you've got one engaged there, another one engaged there. So this sort of maybe four sorts of shell is probably the best idea with four different shots. Remember, the problem is with the more you have, like we've proven, if you have too many, they just loads of them don't even bother going through. But we've got quite a solid penetration here with three out of the four, getting through about five or six layers of armor. Let's do a test, so it's still going. Uh, and we'll cut that back, keep cutting this back, and it's not damaged any more than that. So that is eight layers of heavy armor, and you've got three shots stuck in that heavy armor, so that just cuts some mayhem. I've built less conventional targets, I've built more of a ship sort of target. So this ship is basically consisting of two rooms, we've got a cargo bay, and we've got some open areas, so we can actually see what the stone does inside a ship. On this left target that the left warhead should hit, we've got three layers of armor. Three layers is probably what most average cargo ships will most likely have, because you don't want to be too heavy, but you want that layer of protection. Up here, we have a little bit of crew quarters as well, using these blocks, so we can see sort of what sort of damage it does to that, so that there's no power on board, so we're not going to get them doors to open. And the final question that a lot of you guys asked was, what would happen if there's a third gravity field on the ship? So the gravity field's there in the center, so both will be affected by gravity. So wish me luck. And at 60, we're gonna release. So 60, releasing away. And there are the torpedoes. We're gonna to follow the men in. So we can see the damage. Looks like we might miss. I don't know, actually, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. And we've hit the top part of the armor. So what sort of results are we gonna get? So that, that rock hasn't even worked, and this rock, I do not know what's going to happen about that one. Nothing there. So we've got two very interesting results as these actually breach off into space. So this is a problem about having moving targets, is you've got to try to study the damage. Uh, so that one, I think, impacted on this side. And yes, you can clearly see it's impacted there. The rock's gone through and it would technically be floating around inside rattling 
if this ship actually had its armor. And you can see all the way, it's gone all the way through. And the actual rocks impacted this other side here. And by the looks of it, it looks like it's even penetrated that. No, it's not gone all the way through. But it's made a nasty dent on the other side. And if it was someone's ship, they'd be in here right now. Shaking around. Right, let's have a look at the other one if we can find it in time before it's floated off somewhere into space. Uh, whereabouts are we in proportion to it? Uh, here it is. Alright, so this one was the three layers of armor, so it looks like it's had pretty much the same result. I'm upside down, aren't I? So it's penetrated, gone through here, and it looks like it's snapped off here. This is where the actual... So these are pretty damn dangerous, and if this was a bigger ship, it would be stuck inside. Let's try to seal up this container, and then we'll see what actually happens. So I've just reset the targets. What I'm going to do is I'm going to block these in. Uh, like so, cut them little bits out, there we go, cut that out as well, a little box here, and then just drag that here so we get more of a boxed in effect, and whatever we do hit, we'll see probably the objects either stick inside or get stuck, so we'll delete them as well, and we'll just lock that nice and tightly in here. So once again, we're trying to get up to that magical speed of 60 meters a second before we actually fire at these targets. The one on the left is the one we're actually looking at this time. We want to see what sort of result we'll get when we impact it because it's going to be an enclosed capsule. So there's no chance of the stone escaping outside. And we're coming up, we're coming up to the target. And we're going to release very shortly and release. Alright, so now we just got to watch these warheads go on into the target. So, fingers crossed everything goes well, and we actually see a result on this left one. I'm going to try to catch up a bit faster. Right, so we've got a result. Has it capped the warhead? What's actually happened? So, I'm, what I'm really hoping for is that the actual stone is still in the inside here. So, we've got absolute... Yeah, look at that. You see the stone's been captured inside because it's not had anywhere to bounce off, but it's basically penetrated these outer three layers... And then it's had time to penetrate into here, penetrate throughout one more side, and then it's got stuck here. But if this ship actually had engines and actual gravity generators or whatever was actually in it, this ship wouldn't move as much because it would be gyro-stabilized, so the rock would actually do even more damage. But the actual initial burst mark on the warhead is, is immense. I mean, this is a really dangerous weapon you don't want to be faced with. Right, so as you guys recommended, we're going to try a sort of buckshot type of round. So we're going to go with four sort of pellets. We've got 5k pellets here. So there's one, there's two, there is three, and there's four. So that's four pellets we've got inside here. So we're going to see if this does, does actually more damage or less, or what will actually happen. So this is of course this side, and on this side we'll probably do just a single really small pellet to just evaluate the damage and see if the weight of the actual stone makes a difference like it should do. Um, so here we've only got a 480 weight, so that's a pretty small stone we've got in there, so it shouldn't do too much damage. Right, let's get ourselves in this, let's get it up to speed, and let's actually assess the damage on target. I'm also probably going to do this one against a flat armored target as well all right so let's bring this up to speed get my hood up uh we need to get this up to the good old 60 meters a second we've got the pellets in that one so the pellets are sticking together very tightly that's what we want we want a good grouping until they leave the actual warhead themselves so there we go we've got the target on the right is the sealed one and the one on the left is um basically another sealed one so we've got two sealed targets so we should see some interesting results. So we're approaching up on the speed of 60. And we'll be there very shortly. So I'm just going to release this when it's ready. And release. And let go of that. And catch these warheads up if we can. We can actually see the impact a little bit better. So it looks like this is the buckshot on the right. And this one's a small stone. So let's see what we get here. So yeah, the buckshot is spread out. I wouldn't say it's caused more damage, but it's definitely caused a lot of damage. We'll have to try this against one layer of thick. It's so hard to tell what it'll do against an actual ship. But you can see there's going to be bookshop pieces lying around all over the ship, probably causing more damage. 
So I think that's all the testing we need to do. We've established that it's a very powerful warhead if it's used correctly, and if it penetrates the right part of the ship, especially some of the lighter loads don't seem to do as well, and an increase in speed velocity on the impact can make it do a little bit better, but the reason for me doing it only at 60 is that when it goes too fast, you get a strange glitch where it travels through all the way through the armor and doesn't damage anything at all. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.